hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how you can use transit profile for your simulation it could be for anything for example you could have a transit heat source or you could have a transit velocity or it could be any other parameter you have that data in excel file or as a text file and you need to use it as an input file for the data you don't have any mathematical equation so that you can use for example with the udf or with the expression you have simple raw data for example uh, this kind of data so here i have time and here there is a heat generation in this example we want to see the cooling of these ic's and these ic's have variable heat generation and we have the data from current profile and that data is varying continuously and we have the data in the excel file and want to import it as a heat source so here is this data on the x-axis we have time and the and on the y-axis we have heat generation and you can see the data is continuously changing so we can know use it with the udf or with the any mathematical equation or expression for the heat generation you need to convert this heat generation in watt per meter cube so I have already extracted the volume of this ICs to convert these into watt per meter cube. We will divide this heat generation with the volume. Uh, so it will accept as a comma. It doesn't matter. Similarly, we can convert all of these into heat generation per volume cube. So let me calculate these, and I need to replace this uh, comma with uh, sorry the decimal comma so i have to change my setting i will do it later but anyway so that's how our heat generation looks like in watt per meter cube we can import this data influent in the form of dot ttab file this dot ttab file is nothing else just a simple text file let's see the content of this dot ttab file that's how dot ttab file look like first line always have four entries the first entry always indicate the file name. You can choose whatever name you like. The second entries indicate the number of column. In this case, we have two column. The third item represent the number of entries in your data. In this case, we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five entries. I have written here 10, but we have five entries. Fourth entry indicate the periodic or non-periodic data. Here we have non-periodic data. That's why I have written zero. If we had periodic data, let's say we had the repetition of data for every three seconds or four seconds. In that case, we have put over here one and you wouldn't need to provide this data for your entire time step. Only for one period was enough. We have seen the content of .ttab file. Now let's import this data into a text file and give it an extension of .ttab. Before that, let me copy paste this data separately because we needed only this data. Now this data got separated and I can copy paste in this text file. Okay. Uh, as I said, the first two line could be of text file and data should always start from the third line. The first line we have already seen. So it is a transient profile. I have just given it a name. You can give it, uh, for example, whatever you like let's call it transit heat then we have four columns and number of entries are 37 i know that i have counted all these entries and then we have zero because we have known repetitive data the first second column should always start from time the name shouldn't be time but the first column will always be time you cannot give here any other parameter it should be time and it should always start from zero if you will give any other entry for example if you will give one so you will get error and here we can give them the name ic1 ic2 and ic3 these are just parameter what uh, will appear in the fluent they should not be directly above the data but they should have a space or tab whatever you like and we have prepared this data and on top you can see i have given it a name profile.ttab normally text data you have in the .txt file but you can change the extension to .ttab file 
So our file is ready. Now we can import this data into Fluent. Now we are in Fluent. Let's import our .ttab file. To import file, go to File, uh, Read, Profile, and locate your file. Here, yeah, profile.ttab, select the file, and the file has been imported. Here you can see 37 transit heat profile point time. When you get this uh, message, so it means the file has been imported. Here 37 points, here is the name, and here is the points time, IC1, IC2, IC3, IC4. Now, to assign your parameter, go to your respective cell zone. Here we have boundary condition uh, in cell zone. We have three cell zones, IC1, IC2, IC3. To assign, for example, to IC1, we will go to heat source and uh, we will select to heat source. Here uh, it is something else. Go to the drop down menu and here you can see transient heat IC1. This transient heat is the name of the file and IC1 is the name of parameter. The time is also appearing, but uh, be careful, select the correct parameter. So transient heat IC1. OK and apply. Similarly, we can select for, sorry, similarly, we can select for other two. This one is the IC2. OK and apply. And for the third one. Here is IC3. One thing I forgot to mention, you can also check your data in Fluent. For that, at the bottom in the result, go to plot and here you will see profile data. Click over here. So here your profile data will appear. Here all those profiles which you have imported, you can see over here. These are the y-axis or the from second column to onward and here is your first column. So first column should always be time and you can see whatever data you like. You can see multiple data, I think. No, you can check only one data. So let's see time on x-axis and on y-axis I see one plot. When you click plot, it will appear on graphic. Here you have only those uh, data points. So we can go to curve and select a line style. Let's, let's select this one. Apply. And here you can see we have the same profile as we had in our Excel sheet here so the profile is same only the magnitude is different because it has been divided with a very small number similarly you can check rest of the data but it will be similar because our uh, profile is uh, similar only the magnitude is changing ic2 and ic3 so whenever you import your profile data always check your profile data so once you have imported your data and you have assigned to your respective cell zone, you can run your simulation. Uh, so let me run a couple of uh, time steps. Uh, okay, I'm just running for time step size one second. It's very big time step and uh, let's see if uh, I can run 180 second real fast. But uh, before that, uh, I want to plot something mm -hmm. not here in monitor. I want to check report plot. Yes, it is with flow time. So we can check the temperature. I have used report definition to check some of the parameter during the simulation. For the report definition, I have a separate video. You can check this out. Anyway, let's initialize and calculate. Let me simulate for a couple of time step and then we can see the results. Here I have plotted the temperature of all these three ICs. You can see at five seconds the temperature went down a little bit. It is because of this profile data and you can see initially the was heat generation and at five seconds the heat generation was zero. And after that it is increasing because the heat generation is increasing and the temperature are also increasing. Let's stop here and see the results. Simulation has been stopped after 115 seconds. Let's check the results. 
actually i did not pay much attention on the results so i wanted to show you only how to use this profile data but anyway let's look at these results so that's how the temperature distribution on those ic's look like of course it is a travel simulation and this temperature distribution is only at the end time that is 115 second but you can record all other temperature or all other data using report profile report definition or you can save your simulation result at your desired timestamp so that's it for today i hope you found this video helpful if you like the content please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel Thank you and see you in the next video.